Hey, so in these videos, we're gonna make random space backgrounds at runtime, like the ones you see here. It's gonna use geometry and culling masks and layers. And this isn't like my uh, more basic videos, it's more advanced, but you can still follow along. And in this video, we're going to just make a bunch of cubes surrounding us randomly. So let's get started. So the basic idea here is this is us, and we're going to choose a bunch of random directions from where we are. And at those points, we're going to make a floating picture that's facing us. And each picture is going to have maybe some stars on it, or maybe like a nebula. But to start, we're just going to make cubes randomly facing us. So in Unity, you should have a first-person game set up already. Right-click. Create C sharp script. We're going to call it space background uh, and put it into scripts and open that up. So we're going to want two game objects the prefab of what we're going to make, as well as a space object container just to stay organized. The prefab, we're going to immediately load it. It's going to be a cube. In fact, we'll set that up now. So back into Unity. So in Assets, right-click, Create, Folder, call it Resources with a capital R. Go into that. Game Object, 3D Object, Cube. And then click and drag the cube into Resources. And then delete the cube from up here. So now we have a cube prefab, or the idea of a cube. We can use it to make more. And here in the code, we're going to grab that. We're also going to make that container, we'll just call it space objects. So we want a function that's going to make a space object. And when we start, we're just going to make that happen like a hundred times. We're also actually going to want to find up here, we're going to want a player. And we're going to find that player through one of those scripts that it's attached to, and then dot game object is the thing it's attached to. So we have our player now. Now the space object, we're gonna make that at a random point around the player. So when we make a new cube, we're gonna take our position and add a random arrow to it. So the position is going to be the player's position plus a random arrow. So a random point on a unit sphere. That's a sphere with radius 1, but we'll do times 10, so radius 10. And now we're going to make our new space object is going to be, we're going to instantiate that prefab at that position, and the rotation doesn't matter because we're going to change it later. But we'll just say identity, so it's just kind of 0. As game object. Finally, we're going to put it inside that space object container. Whoops. Its parent is going to be inside this space object container and save that so that th when these all pop up, they'll be inside something like this. So we'll press play and see where we are. I didn't add it. So game object create empty space background. Add space background. Press play. Okay, we got a bunch of cubes randomly around us, and it's kind of sphere-like. Now if I press play again, I'm going to crank it up to 10,000 and save it. Press play again. All right, we are completely surrounded by a lot of cubes. Those are all cubes. So that's how you make a bunch of cubes appear around you randomly. And in the next videos, we're going to turn those into pictures of stars and galaxies and also solve this problem where it's actually eating the world a little bit. There was a floor here before, and, I sh and it should follow me too, so there's all kinds of things that are wrong with this. But we'll get that going in the next video.